What's up everyone, this is Ali Takas Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the perfect non-jailbroken iOS 13 setup. So there's so many cool features that I want to show you guys, and I'm going to be showing you them step by step. Now, if you want to see, I guess, in addition to this video, make sure you check out my second channel. I do iOS commentaries on there, and I also do a lot of cool news and rumors. I'll be uploading on that channel more often because it's the summer. So let's get started with this actual tutorial. And of course, I know you guys are cringing at this animation when I swipe between pages, so I'm going to be showing you how you can fix that with a really cool glitch in iOS 13, so you can make your animations when switching pages flawless. So this video I think is really cool because this consists of a bunch of glitches and I'm going to be putting them all together. And on top of that, there's a cool series shortcut that adds some practicality to the home screen just to give you guys a few ideas. So this shortcut actually plays my top 25 favorite songs or at least the top 25 most recently downloaded songs it actually saves me time because i don't need to go inside the music application and create my own playlist on top of that the other shortcut automatically turns on or off reduce motion therefore saving me time instead of jumping inside of the settings application so you guys can get a few ideas for that if you want to have some cool customization by adding shortcuts on your home screen so that's exactly what i did with the dock so you may notice that whenever I swipe the page on the home screen, it looks really bad because of the fake icons. So I'm going to be showing you how you can also fix that in this video, so that way you can get the best non-jailbroken iOS 13 setup. So this will work best on iOS 13 devices. So you're going to want to jump into accessibilities and then go to motion and make sure everything is turned on. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the dock basically and making the folders black. You're next going to want to make sure that you have color filters turned on, reduce white point turned on, and of course a few other options that I showed before. If you want a more in-depth video on how to get the really black folders and the black dock, I have a video on that. I will leave that up on the screen or down below in the description. But basically you want to set a black wallpaper and then spam the home button as fast as you can. You can see that when you unlock your iPhone, if reduced motion is turned on, you can see that the dock is completely black. And of course you will notice that the folders are black as well. Now I do just want to mention that these folders have a cool look because I have a custom icon for the name that the iPhone is not able to recognize. So that's why it doesn't display the folder name, therefore allowing for a really clean look. Now something else I want to recommend is that you may notice that I have a bunch of notifications for one folder and it looks really ugly. So I'm going to be showing you how you can remove the badge without turning off notifications. So this is actually really cool. So you're going to want to jump into the settings app on your iPhone and you're going to want to go into the notifications category inside of the settings application on your iPhone. So once you're inside of the notifications section, that should be like the second tab. And then from here, scroll down and go to the specific application that you want to turn off notifications for and then tap on badges. So once you do that, you will notice that they turn off. Now, if you have multiple applications, you'll have to do this for multiple apps inside the folder. But on top of that, for example, I have four email addresses inside of the mail application. So you're going to have to select every individual email and make sure that you turn off the notification badges for each email address. So I can't really show that because I don't want to show my emails. You can also turn off no notifications at all. I don't recommend that because then you won't actually receive notifications. Whereas if you just turn off the badges, you'll still receive notifications, but you just won't see them being displayed on the home screen. So for example, I still have Reddit being showed, so I'm going to turn off the badges for that. And then I have Clash of Clans also being shown, as you can see on the home screen right here. So I'm going to turn that off. And I also have reminders telling me I got three badges. So what I'm going to be doing is, of course, you can turn that off. I'm not going to be showing you that because I already did that. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get a really cool widget on your home screen. So this is going to be a calendar view, and I think it looks really nice on the AMOLED display. So what you're going to want to do is download this application. It's a free app. There are paid parts of the application in order to get better features. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting this as our wallpaper. So you go to your library on the button tab and then just select your wallpaper, specifically choose the black wallpaper and then you can choose the way your calendar looks. You can also swipe to choose if you have a black calendar, if it's a small black calendar or you can have a white calendar or like a faded calendar and you can choose the shape and size and things like that. So you can obviously customize this quite a bit, but I believe the dark mode calendars are going to cost money. I think they cost 99 cents in order to unlock one, and then it costs $1.99 to unlock everything. And I think I did the $1.99 option. So I'm going to be using the black one. But if you do not want to pay for anything, you can use the white ones for free and choose any shape you want for free. 
So you can also redirect where you want the calendar to show up on the home screen, and you can get a more precise view if you choose this certain viewfinder inside the app. So once you do that, just tap anywhere on the screen and it should bring you back to the application. And then we're going to set this as our wallpaper after we save it to our photo library. So once this is set as our wallpaper, you're going to tap on the share icon, of course. And then in iOS 13, the share sheet's a little different. So you're going to want to tap on use as wallpaper right here. And then once you've done that, make sure you set it as your wallpaper. But we're going to be using the same glitch as earlier. So you want to make sure your settings that I showed you earlier are still turned on. This is just a reminder. If you want to know how to make your folders black along with the docs, so you get this cool look. You're going to want to watch my other video. I did show you enough information in this video. But if you want a more in-depth video, I guess you can go and watch that other video. I'll have that on the screen. Also, what you're going to want to do is take a screenshot of the last page on your home screen. And you can do that by going into wiggle mode. Now, once you're inside of wiggle mode and you've already taken your screenshot visit this website i'll have it linked down below in the description i'll have the direct website that i'm clicking on right now and then i'll also have a more direct link so that way you don't have to even do this but i'm showing you the website so basically what you can do is you can get themes on your iphone i'm not going to be doing that for this video for this video if you scroll down all the way and you tap on i empty blank folder names or you could see the blank icons this is what i'll be doing i'll leave a direct link so you don't even have to navigate the website but you can see that if you tap on add and then choose and things like that you can go ahead and add the screenshot that we took earlier to this app so if you upload a wallpaper that's not the right size it won't work so you have to use the exact screenshot so now you may want to hold or tap on the icon ios 13 is a little bit weird so when you scroll down to this image you're going to want to tap on the icon or open it up in a new tab so once you do all of this you're going to tap on the share icon and then from here it's going to allow you to save this to the home screen and this is going to be a blank app icon and because this is a black application and we have a black wallpaper it's going to blend and act as if there is just a space between applications on the iPhone home screen allowing for a really cool customized look. So I'm going to drag this blank icon over here and you can see that all the apps shift but it still looks like there's nothing there. So of course if you click the back button you can go back to the previous page and continue doing this. So you're going to want to select all of these and you're going to want to put them in order and of course you can rearrange them any way that you like. So I'm going to just tap on this one because this is where part of the calendar is shown and I'll show you exactly how this works. So if you tap on the share icon once more, add it to your home screen, make sure you have that icon or like the, uh, the text saved so that way you can add that to your folder name for the blank folders. But if you take the icon and drag it, it's a little weird with iOS 13. You're going to have to hold down a long time because they remove 3D touch. But you can basically move any app icon and you can see that if you do it in the correct order, you can go ahead and make your iPhone look as if there's nothing there. So I'm actually going to do a speed run right now. Now, because I've already done this inside of the website i don't need to re-download all the app icons but i'm going to rearrange them now thankfully this is pretty easy because we're using a widget and because this widget is just numbers all we have to do is align the icons in a way that goes in numerical order so that's actually pretty easy whereas if you were to have a wallpaper you'd have to recreate the image so Basically, if you do everything correctly and you just rearrange the app icons, matching with the numbers and the black icons in the spaces that you want, you can go ahead and create an awesome look. Now what you're going to want to do is move all your excess applications to the second page of your home screen. So the first page of your home screen is going to be the one that looks cool. The second page, it doesn't matter what it looks like. So what we're going to be doing is you see this really bad am animation when you swipe between the two pages. It just looks really choppy and ugly. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fixing that. We're going to be making your iPhone so you're going to be making your iPhone so it doesn't scroll between pages. So we're going to be going to accessibilities and you want to make sure that reduce motion is turned off and then you're going to want to tap on the status bar and the edit button at the same time and swipe on the home screen. Now your home screen is locked in this page and it won't allow you to see that really crappy animation with the folders and the icons and things like that. Now if you want to use applications I recommend you use spotlight search that way you can search any application you choose to use so that way you don't have to navigate to the extra home screen which would be the second page. So I actually use spotlight search anyway I never go through folders and things like that this main home screen is for a 
aesthetics really you can actually use it as a functional home screen but it just works better if you just use spotlight search now eventually if you do want to go to the next page on your home screen you can actually tap the buttons at the bottom of the screen and that will allow you to go to the next page now something I just want to mention is these really cool series shortcuts I have this one plays my top 25 added songs to Apple music and it will instantly play so Hopefully you guys can get some cool ideas of what shortcuts to add. I can actually link these down below if you want. The other teal shortcut actually turns on or off reduce motion and it's kind of choppy in iOS 13. It doesn't really work the way it's supposed to, but yeah. Here's an example of me tapping on the buttons at the bottom of the screen and you can see the home screen actually scrolls, but I believe that locking the home screen allows for just a better cleaner experience that way you don't have to see the choppiness of the folders and the icons just getting all weird with the wallpaper so that is about it for today this is kind of a long video but that is how you make your iphone the ultimate non-jailbroken ios 13 setup so how cool is that so thank you so much for watching and of course peace